Hi guys and welcome back to my channel and today's reading we're asking in what area of your life do you need to be more organized? So we have three piles here today. We have this black expo marker, this green expo marker, and then this blue expo marker. So I'm going to give you guys a few moments to look at the expo markers and see which one you feel the most drawn to. And then when you're ready, you can go ahead and skip ahead to your pile. While you guys are focusing on the expo markers and seeing which one you feel the most drawn to, I do want to remind you guys that I am selling tarot inspired t-shirts now on my Etsy shop and I'll be adding more and more designs each time or every week hopefully I just designed a, a shirt for the ten of cups that I'm still going to be editing a little bit but soon will be up on my shop and at the time of me recording this I right now have the three of swords and the four of swords on my t-shirt shop and yeah I'm, I'm recording these videos a little bit early in advance so that I can enjoy my trip fully and not have to worry about having these readings being posted and so I'm a little bit excited about doing them in advance because I'm hoping that the more advanced that I do them then the less stress that doing these readings will cause me because sometimes the pure reason that I don't do them is because I'm like running around all over the place with my ADHD brain and sometimes this is like the last thing on my mind. But anyway, that's a little bit too much information. So yeah, uh, the link to my Etsy shop is always, always, always in my description box so please Click the link, check out the shop, see if you like any of the shirts. I would very, very, very much appreciate any visits to my shop that I get. Just that helps me tremendously. So, Also, I sell my readings on my Etsy shop, so if you'd like to purchase a reading, you can also click the link to check that out. Let me think if anything else needs to be said. I don't think so. Let me get into the reading in just a moment. All right, you guys, if you chose pile one, let's go ahead and get into your reading. I don't know why I started moving the cards out the way I did that yesterday, too. Let me check how everything looks because that's always bothering me. <laughs> there we go. Okay. All right. Hi, pile one. If you chose the black expo marker, then this is your reading and we'll be figuring out what area in your of your life do you need to be more organized? So we're going to start with the Oracle decks. And we'll start with the Moonology. life do they need to be more organized and what area of pile one's life do they need to be more organized please okay so we have nothing will come of this situation and I'm gonna pull another one what area of pile one's life do they need to be more organized and you are good enough okay so pile one it seems like and we have a new start is coming on the bottom of the deck so it seems like and what there is like a lot of areas of, of your life that are being affected by one particular situation that you're holding on to with the nothing will come of this situation and I feel like it's a situation that's been stressing you out and making you doubt who you are and your power as um, you know, a, a part of this collective because you're, you being a part of your collective, you are a powerful player there. I think you've underestimated how much power you hold, how much leadership skills you hold, how much of an example you are to people. I think you've underestimated that and I think you've had, had a lot of self-doubt 
and negativity creep into your mindset about yourself and how you view yourself especially with the you are good enough card showing up here it's whatever the situation is that's been affecting your life and has been affecting you it's made a lot of things in your life start to feel out of whack and where it really boils down to is how the situation has been affecting your um your view of yourself your self image so it's time for you to shed the situation to let it go to stop putting so much power and um what's the word so much focus on the situation and kind of let it fall away and start focusing your energy back on yourself so that's where you need to be more organized in your life is at first you need to clean the slate a little bit whatever is pulling away from whatever's taking your power away you need to stop it in its tracks and say out say out loud like every day this will help you every day wake, when you wake up in the morning and when you go to sleep at night tell say out loud i reclaim my power from all people places and situations start saying that and that's going to help you tremendously in cleaning away this situation and to start focusing back on yourself as telling saying out loud that you reclaim your power because i believe that you are actually way more powerful than you think and it's time for you to start believing that pile one start believing that you're powerful and that's going to help a lot of other areas of your life that have been feeling out of whack due to the situation start to feel more in alignment again so it's kind of like you might be in like your first house perfection year if you're into astrology like when you, there's several ages in your life where your first house is your first house year and it's kind of like you yourself is like re realigning and changing and it's such an important year of your life because you know we all have to go through these periods of growth and let old parts of ourselves die away and new parts of ourselves to be reborn and so you might be going through that time period or that's just happening regardless if it's your first house perfection year or not and because you feel you know out of whack and you felt unbalanced this has caused a lot of other things in your life to feel out of whack and out of balance and like i said it really boils down to you and your self-image and how you view yourself right now like that's the most important thing is to come back in yourself and come back into your power and recognize who you are that's gonna help you all right so that's where you need to get into your organization is to start coming up with a more in-depth self-care routine and to work on your inner child do things that please your inner child <coughs> and <coughs> for example sorry i have to clear my throat my throat is itchy so maybe you guys need to do some throat chakra healing but one of the things that i like to do for my inner child is to do karaoke and of course, I don't always have a buddy to go to karaoke with because I don't know. For some reason, like I can do a lot of things by myself, but for some reason, karaoke is not something that I want to do by myself. I don't want to get off the stage sounding whack, even though I mean, like that's the purpose of karaoke. Like you're going to sound terrible. I mean, some people are really good. Obviously, they're singers and they go up and do karaoke and it's amazing. But like then there's people like me that like to do karaoke for fun and I'm not a singer and some songs I can do and they'll sound okay and then there's other songs that I do and I'm like okay <laughs> girl so I don't want to do that by myself I can go to dinner by myself I can go to a movie by myself but I'm not to do, about to do karaoke by myself so there's the Smule app that I like to do every once in a while when I feel like I really need to just belt out some songs for a couple hours I'll just get on Smule and I'll be on there for hours and my inner child gets its fun and then I come out feeling so much better so you should do something that you really enjoy karaoke coloring painting writing you know whatever it is that your inner child likes to do so um where does pile one need to be more organized? What area of life do they need to be more organized? Ugh. 
what was I just saying? Star mother, how can you mother yourself? Literally, you need to do some inner child healing. That's going to help you so much while you're going through this period of change because that feeling of being lost and, you know, feeling discombobulated is such a, like, a child feeling. I mean, like, as a child, there's so many new things that we have to experience and so many things that we have to learn. And when you feel unsupported, when you feel, like, lost, it can really take you back to how you felt as a child and you wanting to kind of, like, have that person that you can really rely on. And when you become an adult, it's really hard to find those types of maternal figures or if, especially if you don't really have a maternal figure in your life that you feel like you can really rely on and go to for support when you're in those moments of feeling lost then you really have to turn to yourself when you have nobody else and so like I said inner child healing doing some fun inner child things will be so much so much well so it's very necessary for you at this moment is what I'm trying to say and for some reason, I just got this image of, like, digging in the dirt. Like, when you know when you're a kid and you go outside in the backyard and the fun thing that you like to do in your backyard is to dig and play in the dirt and, like, dig for, like, worms or just, like, make mud, like, castles and stuff like that. For some somebody, that's what you need to go outside and do is just go sit in your backyard on the grass and start playing in the mud. That's what I just got for someone. Okay, and then we have Pillar of Light. Your vibration is rising, you are the oracle. So that's really what it boils down to and why you feel so discombobulated right now is because literally, as I said, old parts of you are dying and new parts of you are being reborn. Like that's been the main theme for my readings the past couple weeks is this transformation and shift that everyone is going through. It's literally a collective thing. So many people are going through these shifts right now. So you're literally not alone, even though you feel alone but your vibration is rising so like i said transformation is happening here and that's why you're feeling so lost and because some big parts of you are dying um literally your self-image is being affected by that right now and that's why you're feeling lost and like you don't know yourself and that's what's affecting all the other areas of your life and making you feel a little bit unorganized so this is the part of your life that needs to be organized okay where i'm naming it now your inner child self-image needs to be your main focus right now and that's your self-care routine is the part of your life that needs to be the main focus um and the part of your life that needs to be organized so planning out self-care routines planning out specific times and being dedicated to those times to do your self-care um it's kind of like the grinch movie where he's like naming off five o'clock i'd solve world hunger this time I do this, this time I do this, you need to block off like a whole time every, you know, week where you literally just focus on yourself and your self care and don't let anything else come in the way. Like you're like, I can't, I can't come out to the movie with you guys because I need to focus on myself. Like you literally need to just literally not let anything come in the way of this routine because it's going to be so important to you feeling more like yourself and feeling more connected to you and your environment and feeling more grounded all right so let's get into the tarot now life does pile one need to be more organized I'll pull one more card please for pile one have the knight of pentacles on the bottom of the deck and then we have the strength card reversed the magician the ace of swords reversed the hermit and the six of wands reversed so yeah you're definitely not feeling where you should be feeling which is that you are good enough that you're worth it and 
that you're so much stronger and powerful than you think. This strength card is within you. There's this power, this lion with big teeth, you know, opening his mouth. Like the bite force of this lion is the power that you have within you. Like you're, you have a bite to you. And I think right now you're feeling all out of sorts and out of whack. And it's because of this magician card here. I think that you're a powerful manifester and you've been working on a certain manifestation that is so important to you. I think it has to do with this six of wands, this victory, this success, this recognition, and this ace of swords, this communication, creation, um, and truths, being truthful, having a platform, I feel like it's important to you. Recognition is important to you. Being comfortable enough to speak your truth is important to you, but you don't feel that way right now. You don't feel recognized. You don't feel comfortable to speak your truth. In fact, you're in this place where you just really want to run away and hide with the her hermit card here, and you're not feeling strong. You're feeling insecure, and this magician card sh shows me that that's all of this is happening because like i said you're in this shift your old parts of yourself are dying away and this shift is happening because there's a manifestation that you've been working on for a while that needs you know is coming through but in order for it to come through the slate has to have been cleaned off and so that's why you're going through this by your pillar of light, the oracle card here, you're going through this moment of your vibration rising. But as, like I said, as old parts die away, it's, I mean, you're losing parts of yourself that you were really comfortable with and it, gaining new parts of yourself that you haven't become familiar, familiarized with. And when that happens, it's very like, you know, it's frustrating. It's frustrating because it's like, I thought I knew who I, who I was and at the moment I don't know who I am. And when you don't know who you are, that's where the, you know, feeling confused and, you know, needing clarity comes in. So clarity is coming for sure. Success is coming. You'll feel good enough at some point, but we need to start working through that again. Like I was saying with the Oracle cards here, you need to start taking care of yourself more prioritizing yourself more and not prioritizing um people and things that are not going to benefit you anymore that's the issue here is that a lot of your focus has become on to other things whatever this knight of pentacles is probably where you're slowly working towards your, this success and abundance prosperity I feel like there's an, something that you thought was going to help you on this path and it's not actually helping you anymore. It's, it's actually hindering you and it's time to let it go. And that's why, again, the nothing will come of the situation card has come up. So let's get into some more tarot cards. So... Like I said, the Magician card, your manifestations are actually coming through. And I really wanted to speak on that one more time and say that. Like, the things that you've been working on, the things that are in the back of your head that you've been focusing on and dreaming of, these things are coming to light for you. Continue to speak your affirmations um, and your affirmations and start, you know placing yourself in that situation that is going to come up, the real thing that's going to come up, where it's like, instead of nothing will come to the situation, it's like everything will come to the situation. S place yourself in the everything place. Um, place yourself here in this, you know, light. And that, along with your self-care is going to really push you out of this, you know, dark night of the soul type of thing that you've been in right now. This hermit place. And along with taking time to nurture yourself and mother yourself, having fun and spending time with friends is going to be very important too. Spending time with people that you can rely on, though, not people that 
you don't feel like you can rely on. Okay, so clarify the strength card reverse, please. The hermit card came out again. Clarify the magician, please. Justice. Clarify the ace of swords reversed, please. The hermit reversed. Clarify the hermit. Clarify the hermit, please. It would have been funny if the strength card reverse came out to clarify the hermit. Alright, clarify the Six of Wands reverse, please. Yeah. So you have some celebratory times coming up soon. But right now we have to get through this, you know, transformation first before we can fully enjoy the um, rewards that are on the way. I don't feel like you'd be in the place to enjoy your rewards anyway if they came right now. Because when you're in this place of feeling lost, and confused and not knowing yourself anything any small reward is gonna only very 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 temporarily satisfy because I have been there where it's like I've been just like I don't know who I am but something has come in like my my gods have given me like a little snack before I can enjoy my buffet and I've been like look I'll like eat the snack and appreciate it and be like hmm, that was good while it lasted and I'm still lost and confused and they're like you ungrateful <laughs> but no I mean I'm just I, I really have had to work through these type of situations so that's why I understand them so clearly but yeah so we have the hermit clarifying the strength card reverse again your strength your charisma your roar your pride has been injured or something and it's made you run away and made you hide from the world and do some inner self-reflection. That's the important thing, though, about the Hermit card. It's not just hiding away and, and being, you know, an introvert. It's reflecting. It's thinking. It's But sometimes it can be overthinking and thinking too much. So that's where, with the Four of Swords reverse clarifying the Hermit card here, there is that fine balance between being a hermit and being an introvert and doing your reflection and thinking and overthinking and over reflecting and scrutinizing every detail of the past in a way that's not beneficial to you and the journey that you're on. So make sure that you're not overthinking everything. We have very, very little minimal amount of time before Mercury retrograde starts. So <laughs> save that for Mercury retrograde, okay? Don't overthink everything right now. That we, we should be like having a little bit more fun before every, all the retrograde season happens. Because like I think a lot more planets besides Mercury are in retrograde right now or about to be in retrograde. Anyway, back on what I was saying though with the Hermit card though. Something entered your pride and made you kind of go inward. And it's at the point now where yes... Uh, isolating yourself in some areas of your life like from this situation that's nothing it's coming from are beneficial but make sure you're not isolating yourself from all every areas of life friends and family like I said are important time important to you right now the ones that are actually supportive are important right now you need to make sure you're spending time with them and getting the help and speaking up case of swords reverse speaking up about what you need and speaking your truth with the justice card here and yeah this situation though the magician your manifestations everything's this ha what's happening right now is like i said it's clearing out things so that things can come into balance for your manifestations to come through so with the justice card clarifying the magician um literally things are being worked out for your benefit at the moment whether it seems like that or not, things are working out for your benefit. And that's why the slates are clearing and it's making sure like your karmic justice is coming through for you. Like your spiritual team is coming through for you, like to justify it on your behalf and to get your manifestations and rewards to you. And so that's why anything that's not working out for you right now is not supposed to. And then the hermit, the hermit, 
reverse clarifying the ace of swords reverse like it's happening in a non-traditional way like that's it could be startling if it's happening in a way that you didn't think this was supposed to happen then you're like thinking that's not happening at all because you had a set plan in your head as to how you were going to get these certain manifestations but nothing's going according to your plan but everything's going according to a plan it's just not yours <laughs> So that's where the Hierophant Reverse is coming in right now. I already touched on the Four of Swords Reverse, but like I said, do not over scrutinize and overthink everything that's happening at the moment. You need to focus it on yourself, focus on your self-care, and try to get out of your head as much as you can. I know it's hard. I'm not talking about toxic positivity here. You know, feel your emotions, but also, like I said, affirmations and affirmations are going to be very important right now taking care of yourself is very important right now and spending time and having fun with people that you feel support from is important right now and then the four of wands so um we're clarifying the six of wands reverse um things don't feel happy right now and i completely understand that but happy times are coming they're coming very soon just like I said, this balance needs to happen and things need to be cleared out for you. And that's the area of your life that you need to be more organized in. It's kind of like the message isn't really that specific. But the most important thing is that you need to focus on self-care and really organize your self-care area of your life. Okay. So that's what I have for you guys, Pile 1. I hope that you enjoyed this mes message. If you did, please give the video a like and consider subscribing if you aren't subscribed. Check out my Etsy shop. And um, I hope that you have a good day, night, or evening. Goodbye. Hi, Pile 2. If you chose the green expo marker, then this is your reading and we are figuring out what area of, of your life do you need to be more organized. So that's the part of my little Virgo season collection here, but of course these readings are timeless and you can watch them anytime and even if it's not Virgo season. Pile 2, please. What area of Pile 2's life do they need to be more organized? What area of Pile 2's life do they need to be more organized? Let's see what we have here before I pull another card. Nothing is yet set in stone. Okay, definitely want to pull another card. Pile 2, please. Okay, that's way too much. Pile 2, please. Okay, we have... Communication is key and nothing is yet set in stone. So, with the nothing is yet set in stone, that kind of is giving me similar vibes to pile ones and where it's like not just a specific thing that's going to come out of this reading, but a whole like advice thing. What you need to hear is going to come out of this reading. So I feel like you're in a similar place to where everything is happening all at once and it's a transformative time for you as well a transitive time as well so transformative and transitive and everything feels confusing because nothing has yet placed itself in your life where you have a designated idea or that's not a right term but you know you have a a real clue of what's happening in your life everything kind of feels up in the air that's the word that <laughs> And communication, though, is the biggest thing that needs to be focused on in terms of what you need to focus on organization-wise. And kind of communication focus is kind of like a broad spectra, spectrum, rather, because communication comes in a lot of forms. comes in writing, journaling. It comes in, you know, going out with your friends and having you know, girl talk or guy talk or like just friend talk. It comes in communicating with your your family. It comes in communicating in the workplace. It comes in traveling. So, you know, communication though is a big area of your life that you need to focus on. Um, 
when I went through pile one's reading, I brought up the first house for them. I felt like a lot of them could be going through like a first house perfection year. You could be going through a third house perfection year or just have a lot of planets transiting your third house at the moment. Um, where just I feel like your third house is kind of being highlighted at the moment in your life. So communication is a big thing that you need to be organized in. And, and I think for real, the most important thing for everyone watching this reading here is speaking up, speaking up about how they feel, speaking up and telling people like what's up, because I think you've let a lot of people walk over you or just, you know, you haven't really spoke up about how people, what things people have done that have affected you or just spoke up in the workplace about how you feel about work or, you know, told your manager like what you don't like about work or, you know, whatever it is that you're not speaking up about, you know what it is. You know when it happens because your throat feels tight or you feel angry or you feel frustrated because you want to say what you really feel, but you can't. And you know that it's time for you to stop doing that. It's time for you to tell people what it is and be, be more direct. Like being direct in this time of everything else feeling so confusing and feeling lost because nothing is yet placed and, and nothing is yet set in stone. Being direct is going to be so, so influential on this journey at the moment because when everything else feels lost, direction and communication is going to help you tremendously so let's go ahead and get some more oracle cards here's my shuffling Pile two, please. What area of pile two's life do they need to be more organized? What area of pile two's life do they need to be more organized, please? What area of pile two's life? That's too much. That's enough slices. <laughs> pile two. There we go. All right. So we have Lumeria and we have Council of Light. So creating heaven on earth, it's happening. So I feel like that's why you're going through this transformative time at the moment. And it's more than a transformative time. It's, it's a, really just a transitive time. I feel like you yourself have gone through your transformation already. And now your outer world is going through a transformation. So you can feel more um, and you're grounded in yourself, but your outward reality doesn't feel grounded anymore. You don't feel connected to where you're at anymore. And that's because it's time to create heaven on earth. It's time to create your ideal reality, create your ideal environment. And that involves change. That involves nothing being set in stone yet. Especially if the transition hasn't finished and you're ready for it to finish. It's <laughs> That's the most annoying time because it's like, I'm ready to be in Lumeria right now, but you're still on the plane to Lumeria or you're still on the flight or the drive to Lumeria. Like you're not there yet. Not quite. Or you're still packing for your trip. You might not even have left yet. <laughs> anyway, and then we have divine orchestration, helpers in the subtler realms or the subtle realms rather. So you have a spiritual team working on your behalf, moving everything around for you so that you have more of a direct path to your Lumeria and so that's important that's important to know is that everything right now is happening it's orchestrated to your benefit it's not happening to you it's happening for you and the communication comes in handy in terms of letting people know what's up about the situation that you're going through um telling your job I'm tired of working here I don't want to work here anymore tell your telling your family I don't know where exactly I'm going yet, but I know that I'm about to be on the move or moving somewhere. Telling your friends like, hey, I need help. Like, I'm not in a good place. Like, whatever it is, communication is going to help you feel more organized. And that's the most important thing during this Virgo season is feeling more organized, getting the places and pieces in stone, you know, finishing your puzzle. 
But like I said, right now things are more um things are 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 more not in stone because everything's shifting right now. Like we're going through a lot of shifts. A lot of shifts took place in August and things are still coming into place because of that. So I'm gonna go ahead and get into the tarot because Things today were so much better in terms of the reading than they were yesterday. I filmed last week's reading yesterday, and like I said during the reading many times, that Mercury aspecting Neptune was rough, so things are coming a lot more smoothly today. Okay, and what area of Files 2's life do they need to be more organized? So we have the Six of Swords. So definitely we have some movement happening. We have the Ace of Pentacles. The Knight of Cups reversed. Interesting. We have the Star reversed and then we have Temperance. So Six of Swords Ace of Pentacles, Nine of Cups reversed, the start reversed, and the Temperance card. So yeah, definitely a huge transition is happening in your life with the Six of Swords coming up. The spiritual journey that you're currently on is, hasn't finished. It hasn't wrapped up. The chapter that you're on hasn't wrapped up yet. And that's why nothing is yet set in stone because it's not that the chapter hasn't wrapped up. It's like this chapter hasn't been finished written being like written so like things are still being written out in terms especially in terms of like opportunities that are coming abundance that's coming offers and that are coming um love that's coming success and happiness that's coming with the star here and it's because things are still being balanced out with it. oh this isn't temperance this is judgment oh okay that shifts the oh, thing a little bit uh, it's well it's because things are still being balanced out because I thought it was a temperance card but it was not it was a judgment card so but still that message came through things are still being worked out balanced out and that's exactly why nothing is yet set in stone and you're still being balanced out and your idea of what you want and what your path is is still being balanced out you could have a firm idea of something in your life that you want but there's something else that's more that's um, more important to this specific journey that hasn't been figured out exactly yet and that's what you're working on here with the star reversed is working on the first the belief that figuring out what it is that you want with the ace of pentacles here a new opportunity is arriving a new decision a new business decision or creative opp opportunity is arriving a new idea is arriving and you just have to figure out exactly what it is that you want from it and how you're going to get it or and ask for it and because these cards are reversed i think that's me is meaning that this situation needs to work out first continuing on this journey continuing to figure out the opportunity and what it is you want before we can have some more movement in terms of people coming in to help you with the Knight of Cups here, people coming in to help you and offer you help. And then the star being that the belief that this can really happen. Once you have the belief that it can really happen, that's really what's going to finish the shift in terms of it happening and, and things kind of placing itself. So it's really like communication is key in the terms of you communicating with people like with people that you trust though what exactly this idea is that you have with the ace of pentacles here because i feel like this is an idea i think it's an idea that you have about an a business venture or creating something creating this lumeria this heaven on earth and how you want to kind of get about or come about doing it even if you don't fully have a plan i think once you figure out what exactly it is that you want to help you create this Lumeria and you communicate with someone specific, this Knight of Cups person, they're going to help you um, bring this into fruition and make your wish come true with the star here. 
So the judgment card here is that you're really kind of in the brainstorming part of this journey. And that's why nothing is yet set in stone. And that's why communication is so important here. That Look at it wrapping itself up. Look at it coming together, you guys. The third house is active. Third house is active and maybe the fifth house too, where it's like this journey of you considering what you want, acting towards it when communicating with people and the continuing to do the brainstorming behind it. That's what's going to help things come in stone. But so like everything's happening for you in terms of like your spiritual team are, are working on their end to get this through, get this idea through to you, get the people to you that you need to make it happen and making this wish fulfillment come through with the star here. And yeah, let's get some more cards because this is good. Let's get some clarification here. So I really feel like business is something that's really big for this group is like career and making a career for yourself and being an entrepreneur. Okay. Clarify the six of swords, please. But all in all, like you guys are on a journey with the six of swords here and this journey isn't completely like on this career, but Ace of Pentacles, please clarify the Ace of Pentacles. Clarify the Knight of Cups, please. <laughs> Page of Cups reversed. Clarify the Star, please. Queen of Pentacles and clarify the Judgment card, please. magicians on the bottom of the deck so I love that the judgment card came out to clarify the judgment card it was like we said what we said <laughs> I love that okay so we have the four of cups reverse clarifying the six of swords we have the hanged man clarifying the ace of pentacles page of cups reverse clarifying the knight of cups reverse the queen of pentacles reverse clarifying clarifying the star reverse and then the judgment clarifying judgment so yeah um, the Six of Swords and the Four of Cups reverse. I feel like this is creating a way out of a situation that felt a mix up between felt hopeless and felt like fear of missing out. Um, cause the Four of Cups kind of reminds me of fear of missing out, but it was like this journey started from you feeling like you didn't have direction or that you missed not a specific opportunity or um you saw other people succeeding and you felt out of place and and like you needed to create a situation where you were succeeding and so that's i feel like that's where this journey stemmed from um and if you felt that way if you felt like why is it taking me so long to get to my manifestations why is it taking me so long for my rewards to come in why are other people getting their stuff before me I've been working harder or you know I've been not doing this the same amount of time that they've been doing it's because nothing is yet set in stone and it's because your journey is not the same as other people's journey and you cannot track it the same like you can't be looking at how this person did this at this age so I should be doing it at that my age because we're the same age like no it's not the same like y'all are on completely different paths so I feel like this is where this journey stemmed from, that this transition that came. And I again, the Six of Swords is about like movement. It's literally a journey. So you could literally be moving as well uh, because of this situation. Um, and then the Hanged Man reverse, or not reverse, the Hanged Man clarifying the Ace of Pentacles. Literally, like I said, this is an idea. This is like thinking about business, thinking about creating, thinking about what you want to make happen. The Ace of Pentacles is 
all about that. And it's like creating with the purpose of creating money at the same time. Um, you know, some, creating value, creating, uh, yeah, creating value, meaning that like your creations have value and because they have value, you might want to sell them is what I'm trying to say here. But the hangman is all about having a different perspective about a situation. And again, I really feel like the Ace of Pentacles really represents an idea here in the spread. So it's you being on this journey, coming up with this idea, coming up with this opportunity and realizing that you want to create a team. You want people to help you. So the Page of Cups reversed. The Page of Cups upright usually is, you know, having an idea or wanting to give a romantic offer or an offer of some kind to somebody. And with it coming out reversed, I feel like this, again, is because you haven't fully, fully done this hanged man thinking this while you're on this journey and you haven't fully gotten the idea into place to where you're able to communicate it. I think that's because there's still there's someone specific that's on this journey with you on this path with you whether you feel them or not there's somebody here that's supposed to be a business partner uh to be an associate or help you produce this product or whatever it is and communicating with them letting them know like what's on your mind they're going to help you fully visualize it fully get it together to where you can tell um more people and get more of a creative team here to help you and with the queen of pentacles reverse clarifying the star reversed that this is when this wish comes through this is all going to become upright and you're going to be in this queen of pentacles energy right now you're not in this queen of pentacles energy but it's because you're in this hangman energy but yeah this judgment needs to happen this more thinking and, and perceiving needs to happen um, and this journey needs to fully finish level, well, not finish, but level out because it's, there's a balance that needs to be happening here. Some things that need to be cleaned off the slate more so that things can be um, placed in stone. And once this cleaning happens and this perceiving happens with the hanged man and the communication that's necessary happens to you to create a set team to help you on this journey, then you're going to be in this queen of pentacles. You're going to have the money the stability, the charm, the charisma, the advertising. I feel like this is part of advertising for this product. Um, and that's really where you need to be more organized in your life right now. It's really start brainstorming what you want to do. Because I feel like you're an entrepreneur and and you're meant to be a business owner or sell something or, or write something. And it, it's not even that it could just be like, you know, you're making a product. It could be that you're creating a product this product could be a movie. This product could be you. Like, you're the product. You're the brand. You could be starting a YouTube channel. You could be doing something, creating something, and, and being an entrepreneur, being a business owner is the main thing here. Even if you're not the face of your brand, but you're behind the brand, I think you're meant to have a whole team, a council of light. You're supposed to have a team with you to creating this Lumeria. And so that's where you need to be or more organized in your life. I love this reading for you, Pile 2. Congratulations on your product and creating your product and having the idea that's coming because you're going to know what it is when it comes and you're going to have that spark and you're going to want to talk to somebody about it and that person is going to be important on this coming into fruition for you. You're not meant to do this journey alone at all. You're supposed to have a team with you. So that's what I have for you, Pile 2. I hope that you enjoyed this reading. If you did, give the video a like and consider subscribing if you're not subscribed. <clears throat> and also, I'm a business owner. Please check out my Etsy shop. I sell t-shirts on there that are tarot inspired. And I also sell readings on there. So I hope that you have a good day, night, or evening. <laughs> and um, I will see you later. Goodbye. Hi, Pile 3. If you chose the blue expo marker, then this is your reading. And we'll be figuring out what area of life do you need to be more organized. So we're going to start off with our oracle cards here. I don't know if you guys can see Luna, but she 
that's laying in front of me. <laughs> pile three, please. What area of pile three is left? Do they need to be more organized? We have the energy is gaining momentum. Okay. Pile three, please. Okay. And we have hard work is paying off. Lovely. So the area of life that you need to be more organized in pile three is kind of similar to pile two's reading where it is a business um, career type of reading. I want say fully because I want to get more cards before I completely decide that but I feel like I mean Capricorn energy is here so something that you're working on is paying off and the energy is gaining momentum to fully support you in this area of your life so the thing that you need to stay organized is, is just to continue to stay on top of it continue to stay up on top of this hard work don't let yourself slow down this is like that nine of wands energy here where it's like don't give up now keep working you're stronger than you think so keep working like the energy is gaining momentum here for you to be fully supported and for this thing to um present itself and to become fully um fruitified is what i wanted to say but fully grounded in reality this reality that you've been working towards and creating is about to be fully grounded in reality so don't give up keep working hard don't let yourself slow down. You've got this. So that's where you need to be more organized and kind of giving me like eighth house, tenth house energy here. I've been talking about houses during this reading. So I want to talk about that more astrology wise, not an actual house. If you don't know what I'm talking about. <laughs> so yeah, hard work is paying off. Keep working. Keep working. So let's get more Oracle cards here. yeah just don't let yourself slack i think you're pretty much organized in this area of life just keep uh maintaining that energy and keep maintaining that focus and that drive on whatever it is that you've been working towards and creating because it's so important to your success and you will be successful pile three please what area of pile three's life do they need to be more organized So we have star seed, what lights you up, and we have dance with life, do something to change your energy. So literally, yeah, it's so it's so direct or it's so specific to you rather with the what lights you up. With pile one and pile two, I kind of got more of a sense of what it is I needed to focus on. But with you, it's whatever it is that you've already been working so hard and organizing your focus and attention towards anyway. And it's just really here to like um, pat you on the shoulder and on the back and be like keep going because you've got this like so whatever it is that's specific to you that lights you up and makes you feel excited makes you feel happy and to keep your drive and keep the energy there to make sure that you don't you know fall off the wagon you need to dance with life you need to do something to change your energy when you start to feel tired when you start to feel like you're ready to give up do something to change your energy go out have fun take a little break don't get off the wagon completely but slow down a little bit because the energy around you is ready to push this for you so you don't have to keep matching this energy around you you don't have to match that energy as much anymore because for for a long time it's been you keeping the energy can making the energy like continue but now astrologically situation is situationally and like the universe your spiritual team is working on your behalf right now to keep the energy going and to keep it gaining momentum so you don't have to work as hard as you have been you can slow down a little bit but just not fall off is what i'm saying and you can direct keep your energy directed on this keep it your main priority keep it your main focus but additionally take on some fun tasks go for a walk go hiking spend time with your friends go out to lunch go out to dinner do some self-care, dance with life, enjoy life, see the beauty in life because I think a lot of your focus and attention has been on this so much that 
for a little bit you're starting to feel like is it as worth it as a thought <laughs> like you might think that in the back of your mind sometimes it's like and is this really worth it because like i feel like i'm missing out on something and so don't feel like you miss out on anything like go and do the things that you want to do like go to the amusement park go on a little mini vacation you know take the weekend off do something to change your energy so that you don't completely feel hopeless and lost and like you don't want to do this anymore because you feel like you haven't gotten any time to focus on something else for a little bit. So that's where they want you to like, yes, focus on this, make this your main priority, stay organized and on top of whatever it is that you're working so hard towards, but also make sure you're taking time for yourself and make sure that you're yeah you're having fun that's the most important thing is having fun on this journey don't let this journey make you feel like you're not having fun <laughs> so let's get the, to the tarot now In what area of pile three's life do they need to be more focused or more organized? What area of pile three's life do they need to be more organized, please? Oh, we love to see it, pile three. Ten of Pentacles. We love to see it. The star. Nine of Wands. Bruh. Bruh. Didn't I say that? <laughs> Didn't I say that? This is giving me Nine of Wands energy, and here it is. I love that. Oh, the Tower, and then we have the Eight of Swords. We have the Nine of Cups on the bottom of the deck. So, yeah. <sighs> okay. I feel like this needs to be rearranged. <laughs> start here so yeah like things are falling out of place to be, be rearranged to be in place i feel like you are like the end of pile two's reading like pile this is like the end of pile two's reading like pile two didn't have the idea yet but you have already had it and you're working towards it and you have your team or even if you don't have an actual team because pile two's reading was specific that they have to have a team and I believe that every creation or creative person or every business owner should have a team. Um, but you might not have a team, but I believe that you do need a team at some point. But that's regardless of the fact. What I'm saying is I feel like you're like the continuation of Pile 2's reading. Where this is like you've already had the idea and you've been working towards it. But anyway, <laughs> Pile 3 nine of wands energy don't give up you're at the end the nine is you know ten is the wrap that's the wrapping up that's the ending and the beginning of a new chapter so like you're so close to being done don't give up now because you're right there like you're literally right there you're a week away a month away a couple months away three months away four months away at the most of where you want to be you're like if some of you are a year away but it doesn't matter because it's so like if you give up now then you'll never get there so don't give up nine of wands and you probably have this tower moment happen or it's so close to happening right now where things are falling off and shifting for your benefit and all I'm, my advice is just don't get in this eight of swords energy where you're stuck in your head and feeling like when these things fall off or these people or situations fall off that you thought were supposed to come you could think these people were supposed to come with you to the ten of pentacles moment you think these this place you'd be in the same place when you get to the ten of pentacles you could think you'd be a part of the same situation when you get to the ten of pentacles and you weren't supposed to be around these people those places or the situation so let it go don't get in your mind don't get stuck in your head don't don't become five of cups energy around it where you're like, I wanted to be a part of this and, you know, think that because this is ending, that everything else is ending and nothing else 
good can happen because you were so attached to this. Don't get into your head about it with the Eight of Swords, please. You know, don't let minor details that aren't weren't supposed to be a part of this big picture block you from this big picture. That's my only advice here is that you're doing so good. So when this happens or if it's happening right now, don't get in your head. Don't do it. Sorry, I don't know where the accent came from. But just don't let it go. Let it fall off. Let these people fall off because they're not supposed to be a part of your star movement, okay? You could literally, this is where you're getting, what you're coming to, the Ten of Pentacles, you're going to get recognition from it. And it doesn't matter what level. It could be like you get recognition for on a small level or like an international level. It doesn't matter. You're going to get recognition and success from it. And then your wish fulfillment is happening like everything that you've worked towards and put your drive and focus towards is coming into fruition. It's coming into reality. You're coming into that reality because really that this has already been a reality for, it's been set. This reality has been set for a long time and you're finally arriving to the reality. So you're going, coming into alignment with it. So don't let these situations block you from being in alignment with your star moment and with your ten of pentacles, your happiness, your content, your satisfaction, your money, your coin. Don't let this block you, baby, because you are, you deserve it. I want you to take a moment. Let's take a moment together, pile three. You deserve it. You're good enough. You are successful. You're powerful. You are. You really are. Seriously. You are. I'm rooting for you. I want you to have money. I want you to be financially stable. I want you to be financially secure. I want to see it. I'm here for you. I'm a fan. <laughs> I want you to be successful. I believe that you can be successful. I know you can be successful. I see it. Literally, I see it. And I need you to see it. I need you to... You might have had the vision and you're working towards that vision, but you're not. part of you might not fully believe that you deserve it. You deserve it. Okay? You deserve the money, the fame, the success, the career, whatever it is. You deserve it. And these people, the situation... These places that are in alignment with you and don't belong in this journey with you, let them go because they don't, they don't deserve to be a part of your story anymore. It's time for them to go. Okay. Nine of cups and 10 of pentacles is on the table here. Don't get into that five of cups energy. Don't be crying over those spilled cups. You have other cups left, other cups that you're going to add to, to get into nine of cups and Ten of Pentacles energy. Okay. All right. So let's go ahead, clarify these cards, and finish your reading because ain't not much to say here except that I'm proud of you and I'm excited for you and I can't wait to see you do what it is that you're doing because I want to see the end story. I want to see this. Okay. Clarify the nine of wands, please. Okay. Knight of wands, clarifying the nine of wands. That's you charging head into battle, knowing that this is happening. This last lesson of swords is happening before you can have the prize. Keep going. Clarify the tower, please. Oh, so many things came out. I'm going to shuffle some more. Clarify the tower, please. Yep. Seven of Wands. Clarify the Eight of Swords, please. Temperance. Clarify the Star, please. Clarify the Star, please. The Moon reversed. And clarifying the Ten of Pentacles, please. Clarify the Ten of Pentacles, please. Love to see it. I'm going to take it reversed. Just came out. 
Okay, so we have the Knight of Wands. Like I said, charging into battle, knowing that nothing can stop you now. Know that nothing can stop you now because this is meant for you and you're going to see it come into fruition. And the Seven of Wands, right now, it feels like even if you don't have a team, I feel like a lot of you um, feel like really alone in this. Uh, you don't have the support that you need because, again, so many people that you thought. I feel like it's a lot of it is people. I genuinely feel like it's people that you thought were supportive of you, that you thought were going to come on this journey with you, aren't coming on this journey anymore. They're falling off. You had to get rid of them. You had to cut them off. And you feel like you're really on this journey alone with the Seven of Wands and that it's you against the world but that's not going to be forever because the right people are on their way to you if this is what's happening if you don't have people around you anymore because you had to cut them off the right people are on their way they're going to come in the nick of time or they are there you have still people there that you can rely on and, and you're not as alone as you feel temperance card clarifying the eight of swords yeah, balance is necessary for you, especially to um, help you battle these intrusive thoughts, these thoughts of not feeling like worthy of of this. Kind of, this is, looks like a crown, not worthy of this crown that is here. So just fill your own cup when this situation happens, when this tower moment happens. Fill your own cup. That's the time when you really need to start dancing with life and do something to change your energy and do something that lights you up and remember the sole focus of this journey was that you were so deeply inspired and so geared towards this thing that you started working hard for and you knew that you couldn't ha not have it remember that remember that drive because you know that's what's most important here is continuing to have that drive to continue to let the energy gain momentum you know, don't back off of this course now. Keep going. And then the moon reverse clarifying the star. You're coming out of, when you come out of this, like, you're going to come out of it having clarity, having, like, and that clarity is going to push you even more. I think you're going to know even more, like, what you want. And you're not going to let yourself or others get you from block you from this ten of pentacles anymore this five of wands reversed this is telling me that the fight is gonna be over <laughs> like the fight is finally over you're clear you have the clarity you don't have to fight anymore and so it's important that let's get all this fight this energy let it happen let it gain momentum so that you can finally have the peace and tranquility that you are so deserving of the contentment the satisfaction you don't have to fight anymore i know you don't want to fight anymore you're starting to get tired of it but keep going keep fighting let the energy gain momentum and take the little breaks that you need to to dance with life and do something to change your energy so i'm going to end your reading there pile three i've enjoyed doing this pick a pile it was very 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 fun and I hope that you got what you needed out of this. If you did, give me a like and subscribe if you're not subscribed. And um, check out my Etsy shop. I have tarot inspired t-shirts there. And I also sell my personalized readings there. So I hope you have a good day, night, or evening. I will see you later. Goodbye.